Mas não fica assim, não. Assim, duas partes, cara. Hello, yes. Sorry. Um, her name is Quantum. Um, so I like well researched facts. So during your presentation, I did a quick check on the phosphorus thing, because that seemed a bit dubious to me. And it turns out that hardly anyone is talking about um uh, uh, that, that phosphorus is uh, running low. So I did a little more research. I mean I had a lot of time doing research during your talk. And um <laughs> Turned out that the MIT, that the MIT um, also did a study on that, and that phosphorus is running low. However, there are plenty of ways to get rid of the problem. For example, reusing it and using different fertilizers. Now, I'm wondering if your facts aren't very well researched, how am I supposed to believe the rest of what you're telling me? Hi, uh, um, Lisa from uh, I'm actually not in the Green Party, but I'm quite involved with some other green things. Um, I was wondering, you mentioned that the world population that needs to be fed for about 700 million. Well, let alone you mentioned, Theo, that, that in the US, in the US in 1998, which is a long time ago, Grain production for livestock over exceeded that. We could have had in 1998 fed 800 million people on food on the grain that's just produced for livestock. And since this was talked about agriculture and the effect that agriculture has, and the fact that livestock is producing so much, so many greenhouse gases and has so much water, I was wondering why you failed to mention that. Oh, I, I did mention yeah, that. Yeah, you did. Too. You mentioned it in the water consumption, but not in the food. You said we need to increase the population to feed people when we actually produce enough grain to feed our people or be feeding these animals. Well, certainly, uh, consumption choices make a big difference, absolutely. And what if, for example, one of the drivers of deforestation is to grow soy for beef, it's not actually improving the security where the deforestation is occurring or to, to grow palm oil. Hi, I'm Gabriel Avalon, a professional town councillor and a member of Green Party. A um, couple of questions. Is that 9,500? Is that the number of babies born during the war? No. So that, what That's the next growth of So, what figures are we using for the net deaths? To... I'm not. Uh, that is the number of. That's the population worth per year yeah. divided per number of days divided by 24. We sure we've got population in the place people dying before they've been born. My other question <laughs> before you answer that, and then take the microphone away, uh, is um, uh, another thing that hasn't been discussed here is the actual distribution of what we've got, because it's very unfairly distributed. Um, <laughs> I would like to see the Green Party doing more work about how we, we distribute what we've got fairly to the third world and to other places that don't have access to what we have got. Thank you. Andrew Green, I'm not the Central Green Party. I don't have the privilege of being petitioned. The, the number I see on road which asking the population matters to be banned from the conference. Oh, okay. oh thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, so, excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, Hang on. Okay, so there are a number of reasons why we feel this is appropriate. It's been a long, ongoing issue with population matters. I'd like to thank you for raising the scientific points you have. I did it as I'm doing it. Excuse me, conference. Can we just make sure that people finish their sentences and that people don't shout when people, other people are speaking? Thank you. There are, I'd say, there are primarily two issues with population matters that has made them. Uh, what's the word? Um, well, most progressive groups don't want to engage with them. Um, on the one hand, they seem to have completely failed to critique 
imperialism, racism, the nationalistic structures that exist in our modern day. The, 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 one of the most famous policies of immigrant population matters is a zero net migration policy, that is, banning any migration to the UK. The same policy is shared by UKIP and a number of the extreme right organizations that we campaign against in the Green Party. Reasoning for zero net migration is, as we explained, some of the it's it's, it's for the UK UK population will increase over the next few years, and that's unsustainable. The reason the Green Party doesn't have this policy is because we advocate a revolutionary, radical redistribution of wealth that is fundamentally unheard of by any other group, any other political party. We advocate a complete redistribution of wealth from Britain to the rest of the world, which entirely mitigates. There's it's no hard to get that's amazing since I and these 16 people in the world. The point is that there is no concern for migration to the UK once the UK assumes its place as a nation of equality rather than imperialism as it is at the moment. Um, the second point that's the point. This is the, the lot the, because of this position, um, a lot there's there's a number of articles recently the population matters that have been overtly racist or subtly racist and you have a number of people in your organization who are racist and this is the primary nonsense on zero zero net migration is the primary question basically is when you get your act around and start seriously critiquing the power structures that rule the world when are you going to start seriously becoming an anti-imperialist organization an anti-sexist organization and anti-sexism, and, and anti yes. You, you have some fundamental problems with sexism in your party, particularly your advocacy for... It's not a party. Particularly your advocacy for no Do child mind. benefits for uh, child. Do you mind if I stop you there? Some excellent coming in. I wish you could sit here, actually, this part of the panel, but thank you for your comments. Huh? Uh, 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 may I just read yes, from please. the uh, Green Party? Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, you've been talking about that. Uh, from two. Oh, thank you. Yes, uh, um, um, lady at the back. Um, I sorry, person at the back standing up. I don't think it's down to that, I think, then. I'd rather get going 